This episode of Die Trying is brought to you by Realtour.com. Welcome to Die Trying. I'm on the toilet. <laughs> yes, yes you are. I'm Patrick Darden. I'm Michael Hand. Welcome to the world's ugliest bathroom. I don't think so. Well, you should have seen it before the green wallpaper came down. <laughs> we are gonna replace a toilet today. Yeah, because we're in a water shortage right now, at least in California. Yeah. So we're gonna replace a big wasteful one with a low flow toilet. Yeah, my two year old has discovered the simple joys of potty training and watching the water swirl down the potty when he hits the lever. It's really relaxing actually. Yeah. Not that I would know. Yeah, now I know why my water bill was so high last month. In any case, uh, replacing a toilet's not a bad idea for any of number of reasons. Primarily in this case, reducing water consumption in case they cap water usage and start doing sort of penalizing people who use too much water. And we should cut our toilet usage by uh, somewhere between 30 and 50%, uh, at least per cool. flush. Uh, if we can control the two year old's <laughs> occupation with it. Removing a toilet is shockingly simple. Need a wrench? Right, to unbolt the closet bolts from the flange, then we can lift up the toilet and we will need some kind of scraper to remove the old beeswax gasket. Because I had no idea that existed, but it's there. Yeah, well before we do that, by the way, we're gonna need to stuff a rag down the quote, soil pipe. That's the hole <laughs> in the floor that goes to the, uh, what do we call that thing? The uh, drain? Sewage. Sewage. And uh, something to set the toilet on so you don't permanently stain your floor, though this floor is getting replaced, so I'm not particularly obsessed with not staining it, but I still don't want a poop covered floor. Um, and uh, oh, yeah, if the bolts on the closet bolts don't want to come undone, you will need a hacksaw, which Ed, for me means a reciprocating saw because you know what? Why spend 20 minutes with a hacksaw when you can spend 30 seconds with a reciprocating saw with a hacksaw blade? I hope they get stuck. Number one safety tip when replacing a toilet, make sure you have shut off your water supply and of course, get all of the water out of the toilet or else you're gonna make a spectacular mess when you pull the toilet off the flange. First we unbolted the old toilet and luckily it wasn't rusted so we didn't have to cut off the old uh, the closet, closet bolts. bolts. Okay, the washers are pretty nasty, but the closet bolt looks good. Well, the closet bolt's coming off. It looks like crap, but it's not a rusted mess. Uh, that came off pretty easily. And then we pulled the old toilet off. Now, if this works the way it's supposed to. Oh, yeah. That's really not what I wanted to do, but it worked. Expose the old wax seal, scrape the, the old beeswax seal off. I'm gonna go get a garbage can. And normally you would just, you know, inspect the flange, put on a new set of closet bolts, put a wax flange on the toilet, press it down in place, bolt it down, reconnect the water, and boom, you got a new toilet. Easy. Easy. Yeah, that didn't happen. This is not how this should look. Also, it doesn't look like there's a proper flange under here. So what we found was some, uh, well, you know, either a, a semi-homemade or a incredibly antiquated combination of some lead pipe, a couple of sort of wood screw clamps that I usually see on inexpensive, cheap homemade furniture, and that was uh, showing where, well, basically you could see where there was some definite rot in the wood. So we cut out those boards. Went from halfway across the stud to halfway across the stud, enough wood to expose uh, so we could fit some fresh wood underneath the old uh, flange. And of course we measured twice and only cut once. All right, uh, let me make one more trim on this. This seems like a good point to bring up our sponsor, Realtour.com. Who wants to remind you there are certain things you shouldn't do without the help of an expert. Finding a home without the expertise of a realtor and the real-time help of Realtor.com, for example. Realtor.com has the largest and most accurate home listings database sourced directly from over 800 MLS listings services. And they have an iPhone, Android, Windows app so that you can search on the go, find, they have a search by school functionality, which sounds pretty cool to me. Thanks to our sponsor, Realtor.com. And remember, accurate listings, expert advice, and home ownership calculators to keep you on track for your first or next big home purchase, Realtor.com. So the good thing is that we have new flooring for the entire bathroom coming in as part of a bathroom remodel in the near future which means uh, as hideous as this looks, and believe me, it looks even more hideous to me than it does to you. Uh, it is a temporary situation. So what we have here outside of our crazy lead 
pipe is a basically four inch gasketed closet flan plugged in four inch cast iron PVC or ABS pipe lubricate gasket for insulation if necessary always fashion houses are supposed to have these already right which would explain why the old toilet was uh, a little wiggly <laughs> but once we had all that then it was just like any other toilet install almost yeah uh, one last hiccup uh, the old uh, water line or connector to the water line, the flexible connector to the water line uh, was 12 inches long that was not long enough to reach the new tank. So we got a new 18 inch, no 20 inch one, right? Because they only had 12 and 20 inches at the local big box store. It is kind of soothing. Yeah. So I think the number one lesson from this is to use the restroom before you swap your toilet because you have no idea what surprises lay underneath. Yeah, either that or maybe you should install a second bathroom before you change the toilet in the first bathroom. <laughs> Hopefully our install was worst case scenario. Hopefully you won't have to deal with something like that. But yeah. hey, if you enjoyed our pain, you should subscribe because we, <laughs> we endure a lot of pain for the show. Dietryan.com or YouTube.com slash Dietryan. Tweet at us at Dietryan. We even have a subreddit that there's only like 25 people there, but thank you for being there. Reddit.com slash r slash dietrian. Come join our exclusive club. Thanks for watching. I'm Patrick Norton. I'm Michael Land. We'll see you next week on Dietrian. <laughs> no, I...